Hi, my name is Taylor Sievertson and I'm a Community Development Research Assistant at North Dakota State University. Communities flourish when trust and security are commonly held values. Themes of reciprocity, mutual trust, and recognition of shared norms are the markers of strong social capital. These abstract conceptions can be difficult to measure, so we utilize empirical data to give us a better idea of the social capital assets in a community. Here in Barnesville, as is the case in many rural towns, social capital is identified in the presence of organizations, churches, social media, and the meeting places that often mobilize and connect individuals. In addition, the Barnesville schools and the activities they support confirm the abundance of the connections within the community and among community members. Social capital is truly the glue that holds a community together. Let's begin by taking a look at the level of organizational involvement among the wide array of engaging opportunities here in Barnesville. Barnesville has over 35 organizations that residents can participate in. There are organizations that support the community and others that simply bring people together with shared interests. Of the organizations, groups like the Thursday Night Lions with their nearly 30 members have events in the community that are focused on service. 4-H, Scouts, Rod and Gun, and youth groups in the area support youth involvement and skill development. Others still support the necessary functioning of this community with services like the Volunteer Fire and Ambulance and the Food Pantry. I spoke with a member of the Moms Connect group. Of the organization she participates in, she said the following, We aim to be very inclusive. We have two meetings a month to accommodate stay-at-home moms and those that work. Moms Connect has content for meal planning, internet safety, and other topics that are relevant to moms. As we've seen, some of these organizations are unique to Barnesville, and others have a membership and service area that spans the county. This is just a brief sampling of the many types of organizations that individuals can be involved in. Let's now take a look at how churches also support social capital. There is a good sense of community in, in this town in that way, in, in a, a sense of belonging, because everybody cares about everybody. I've not seen a town that's as friendly and connected as Barnesville is. There are six total churches in Barnesville. They serve a variety of denominations and offer different worship styles as well. Faith is an important value to the community of Barnesville, and many life experiences and day-to-day -day interactions are centered around the churches here. They bring individuals together and create a space for shared values. So service and outreach have been part of the DNA of our church family and of this church since it started. And we actually have members of our congregation that are boots on the ground missionaries in a, a village called Budamasa. Um, in addition, we send our teens to Mexico to um, a place called Bonville, and they go there every year. Pastor Javier has a, a church there, and they partner with him to put on a BBS program, soccer tournament. They bring in a taco stand, and they just do an outreach to the community there. The month of October, we get volunteers. We go down there, and we man the food pantry, and we step up our um, requests for donations to the food pantry and try to really make sure it's stocked well. But all year long we have um, a basket out and we try to make our communion Sundays be times that people bring canned goods and dry goods to give to the food pantry. As ministries, we have um, several th things that are working really well with the children in the community. We have right now going on every Thursday a program called Science, Fun, and Scripture. Um, 6.30, we put on a meal of some kind. Last week it was Little Caesar's Pizzas. And um, the, the kids get a good meal and then they play some games and they have a, a science experiment or some kind of science related lesson that somehow we connect either as an object lesson to a Bible lesson or sometimes it's a direct connection like this past week we actually had a neuropsychologist from Concordia come in with sheep's brains and teach the kids pieces about the brain and then also taught them a Bible verse with memory because his specialty is on memory development and a couple of neat things that are happening I would say probably 
60% of the students that are coming to that program are not regular attenders of the church. They're from the community. And the woman that's running it just has all kinds of active connections out in the community and they, they, the kids just love her. And I think what really is the key there is they know she loves them. The places where individuals gather to share ideas and each other's company are incubators for growing social capital. Here in Barnesville, a local family-run restaurant has long been such a place. The elevator, convenience store, and senior center are also places where groups will congregate. As our experiences become more and more digital, it's no surprise that social media can also serve as an extension of these shared spaces. Social media tools are utilized by a number of organizations, athletic teams, businesses, city government, and other engaging entities here in Barnesville. Tools like this create unique opportunities for interaction across and within groups. The community of Barnesville really rallies behind its youth. Sporting events, performances, scholarship opportunities, and graduation are all events where the whole town participates. Even those without school-aged children cheer on the Trojans and help fund the community infrastructure that supports their personal development. The schools are central to the community's identity, and they also guide younger Barnesville residents to place value on education and school involvement. Social capital is a collaborative and active quality of healthy communities. As you can see, social capital assets come in many forms. These assets really work together to bond a community from within and connect it to society at large. Social capital can be difficult to conceptualize, so asset mapping can be especially helpful. In Barnesville, we see great strengths in the ways interaction, trust, and reciprocity are built through church and school involvement, organizational service, social media, and other engagement opportunities that are listed here. This map alone shows the ways in which this important social network has undergirded life in Barnesville. With a strong sense of connectedness, the community is better able to leverage the resources they have and activate their capacity for change.